Oh, I say it, I say it again. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run on muck. This is what he does. When you go to the 13th Amendment, one of the fascinating things about the text of that amendment is that it says that slavery is abolished except in the case of a punishment for a crime. And within that wiggle room, what you see in it is that there's still the possibility of extending slavery, as it were, by another name. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution makes it unconstitutional for someone to be held as a slave. Exceptions, including criminals. Aha! Aha! What you got after that was a rapid transition to a mythology of black criminality. Some people got the real problem. Animals, beasts that needed to be controlled. You better believe it. I'm only human. It became virtually impossible for a politician to run and appear soft on crime. The kinds of kids that are called super predators. Millions of dollars will be allocated for prison and jail facilities. Three strikes and you are out. It was an enormous burden on the black community, but it also violated a sense of core fairness. Some people got the real the states were required to keep these prisons filled, even if nobody was committing a crime. It's so difficult to talk about mass incarceration because it has become heavily monetized. The focus is on taking people from prison, putting them in community corrections, parole and probation. How much progress is it really if now there's a private company making money off the GPS monitor? now have more African Americans under criminal supervision than all the slaves back in the 1850s. We are the products of the history that our ancestors chose. Products of that set of choices that we have to understand in order to escape from it. We should go lock in somewhere high. I'm just playing, America. You know I love you. I'm only human, after all, don't put the blame on me.
people. I think while we focus on the condition of confinement, I think the bigger focus is on prison. I think we have to begin to see prison as being a tantamount or equal to slavery. I think people in the United States need to know that uh, the 13th Amendment did not abolish slavery. Instead, the 13th Amendment, you know, if you read the word and it says slavery and involuntary servitude shall exist on these shows except one who has been duly convicted of a crime. How many people who have been duly convicted of crime but who are actually innocent? Because as long as we have prison, slavery reigns.